David Faber. You may think a story about marshmallows would be a puff piece, but this one is anything but. It's full of scandal, intrigue, and the threat of financial ruin. And it all centers around, we kid you not, the search for a vegetarian marshmallow. Jane Wells reports on two young entrepreneurs, a disappearing company, and a university professor all caught up in a curious quest. They are edible happiness, marshmallows, sweet, fluffy, a campfire treat. So how could this airy piece of flavorful fun be the focus of a sad saga with all the intrigue of a campfire tale? When you look at marshmallows now, what do you think? You really couldn't pay me to eat a marshmallow now. <laughs> Ming Tran was a 25-year-old financial analyst living in California. A coast away in New York lived accountant Sarah Son. The two never met, but their lives would converge when both decided to make a vegetarian marshmallow, what some call the holy grail of the non-meat-eating world. When I tell people what I do for a living, people just look at me dumbfounded. <laughs> vegetarian marshmallows? What's wrong with marshmallows to begin with? Well, there's nothing wrong with them unless you're a vegetarian. Marshmallows are made with gelatin, which comes from the skins and bones of animals, mostly cows and pigs. Gelatin is what gives jello its elasticity and marshmallows their stretchiness and puff. But when Ming Tran tried to make marshmallows without gelatin's animal protein base, hers fell flat. The other ingredients made something that was not the consistency of a marshmallow. They were more like gummy bears or like taffy. It didn't have that puff. From campfire treats to Easter peeps, more than $150 million worth of marshmallows are sold every year. And in an era where consumers now expect tailor-made versions of the foods they want, from locale to wheat-free, there is plenty of demand for a vegetarian marshmallow. Whole Foods sells lots of organic and natural marshmallows, but a man known only by the name Shimmy, head of the company's Northeast Regional Bakery Division, says if he could find a good veggie marshmallow, Whole Foods would buy it in a heartbeat. We all want to be kids, no matter how old you are, whether you're vegetarian or vegan, you want marshmallows in your hot cocoa. So. Your hot soy cocoa. Your hot soy cocoa, right. <laughs> how hard are you looking for the vegetarian marshmallows? We're looking very, very intently. So were Ming Tran and Sarah San. Several years ago, they independently decided to make their own veggie marshmallows and sell them commercially. Ming Tran got the idea after reminiscing about s'mores, and a vegan friend revealed he'd never had a marshmallow. I said, you know what, I'm going to buy him some vegan marshmallows. I thought it would be a simple thing, and I got online, I searched, and that's when I discovered that vegan marshmallows didn't exist. I started experimenting. Why? Why so much time trying to create this marshmallow? I just had a mission. She worked at it for months, failing, until she heard about something called MS Kosher Gel. For a half century, MS Kosher Gel was marketed as a vegetable-based replacement for regular gelatin. The company claimed it contained no meat or dairy. Vegetarians and vegans embraced it for use in home recipes, including marshmallows. I ordered MS and tested it out, and it worked. So I started selling them on eBay, and uh, from there, it went nuts. Indeed, one small bag once went for $27, five times what Tran paid for the ingredients. She soon quit her finance job to make marshmallows full time. And across the country in New York, Sarah San began a similar journey. I grew up living on Rice Krispie treats when I was a kid. And at the age of 14, I made the decision to become a vegan for ethical reasons. And that meant that I can no longer have my favorite treat because it had marshmallows, and marshmallows have gelatin in them. Stuck in an accounting job she hated, Son decided to pursue her sweet dream of making a marshmallow she too could eat. After months of work, Son developed vegan marshmallows, also using MS Kosher Gel, calling them Sweet and Sarah. Next thing she knew. It was ridiculous. I mean, I outgrew my space, um, my kitchen space at home. So I made the decision to open up my own commercial space. And I was just getting orders left and right. But just as the vegetarian marshmallow business was puffing up, it was about to get squashed. When rumors began to circulate that something wasn't kosher about the MS Kosher gel. 
Longtime vegans Zell and Reuben Allen run an online newsletter called Vegetarians in Paradise. They too were MS fans until a friend of ours said to me, I am so disappointed that I can't make my vegan cheese anymore. I use MS and I can't get MS from the store who sells it because they said there's animal products in it. They started digging. Nobody seemed to know where this business was. The Allens discovered that Emmis's address led to a post office box here in St. Charles, Illinois, about 40 miles west of Chicago. The company phone number always led to an answering machine. So they left messages. And eventually, they say a man named Ted Lumos, who ID'd himself as Emmis's vice president, called back. He was very glib and very reassuring that this was a vegan product. Ted Lumos told the Allens and others that lab tests prove our product does not contain gelatin or any animal-derived ingredients. But then the marshmallow plot thickened. Thanks to the Seventh-day Adventist Church, many Adventists are vegetarians and Emmas had been a staple in the community. But then some church members discovered the gel wasn't vegan after all. 